With the recent discovery of far better ways to extract lithium from the rocks and the clay that it sits in, this enormous deposit of lithium absolutely changes the game. The United States has very little lithium, at least very little it is able to commercially mine today. This new discovery, believed to be the biggest discovery of lithium in the world, is commercially viable. It will be mined within a very short period of time. And it's absolutely game-changing for the American battery industry. Well, 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 who would have thought? Nevada. Looks like it may have the largest deposit of lithium worldwide in an extinct volcano. This is truly an intriguing story. Hello, my friends. Hello. Welcome to the channel. Great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Lithium, we need it. Yes, the price of lithium has fallen drastically this year. In fact, by around 60%. But it's still worth a hell of a lot of money. We still need it for the global disruption of internal combustion, of fossil fuels. It's incredibly important. Now, the United States, I mean, they don't have a whole lot of lithium. Where does your lithium come from, right? You get a bit in Utah. There's a, there's a few little scattered areas, not very much really, that's being mined right now. Anyway, it's coming from Canada. Canada's got a lot. Chile, Argentina, they've got a lot. Australia's got a lot. Um, there's a few other countries, but really the US. It's a net importer. Of lithium and of course you guys don't refine it either you've got that tesla refinery going in in texas but you need more lithium and you need to refine it in the us and if it's cheap and affordable this will happen this new deposit that apparently has been discovered very recently sounds well it sounds for one insanely insanely big but for two it sounds like it's actually doable to extract it now the the difficulty of extracting lithium is one of the key reasons why you hear about, oh, look at this magical resource of lithium. We have it. It's, where is it? Oh, it's on the, the sea bed. How do we get to it? Uh, it's only seven kilometers deep. Yeah, you can see my point there. It's not just about where it is or how much of it there is. It's about how easy it actually is to mine it. So how easy is it to mine this massive lithium deposit in Nevada? What could be the largest in the world? Well, Geologists say they have found the largest lithium deposit in the world, and it's inside an extinct volcano. You're probably thinking, what's going on with all that lithium in California, in the Salton Sea? Well, unfortunately, that's years away from being extracted, well, at least enough to meet America's needs. Currently, Australia is actually the largest lithium supplier in the world. However, Thomas Benson, Matthew Coble, and John Deals published a paper in the journal Science Advances where they reported the discovery of what is likely to be the largest lithium deposit known to existence, known to man, right? It's amazing. If this is accurate, we don't know if it is yet, but it sounds like it could be, then this will have a huge effect on America and their ability to actually make their own batteries using their own materials and, and to basically go from being a, a gasoline-loving nation possibly into one that changes. I mean, it could be very American feeling where you can kind of nationalize this concept of being a lithium producer. This might mean a lot of the patriotic Americans, the, the, some of the Americans who are you know, a bit slower and a bit more special, if you get my drift, they might think, hey, you know, I work in a lithium mine. I've got a job here. Lithium's good. Batteries are great. You never know, maybe. Anyway, Chemistry World says that there is 20 to 40 million tons of lithium lying within the volcanic crater formed around 16 million years ago in Nevada. And that's more than the actual amount of lithium found on the Bolivian salt flats, which had been considered the largest place in the world, the largest resource, single lithium resource in the world. An analysis has found that an unusual clay stone composed of the mineral illite contains 1.3 to 2.4% of lithium in the volcanic crater. This is double the amount present in magnesium smithite, which is more common than illite. In other words, it's a very, very high concentration of lithium. Now, a famous geologist said, 
that if you believe their back of the envelope estimation on the actual lithium in this volcanic crater or well, extinct volcanic crater in in Nevada, then it could change the dynamics of lithium globally in terms of price, security of supply and geopolitics. This would be a multi-step alteration of lithium bearing smectite to illite where hydrothermal fluids enriched the clays in potassium, lithium and fluoride. They seem to have hit the sweet spot where the clays are preserved close to the surface. So they won't have to extract as much rock, yet it hasn't been weathered away yet. In other words, it seems to be a miracle discovery. It's so much lithium that seems relatively easier to get to in what is considered a quite a high concentration. So when will mining start or will it? Well, apparently a company expects to begin mining this deposit in 2026. So in less than three years, it will remove clay with water and then separate out the small lithium bearing grains from larger minerals using a centrifuge. The clay will then be leached in vats of sulfuric acid to extract the lithium. If they can extract the lithium in a very low energy intensive way or in a process that does not consume much acid, then this can be economically very significant. The US would have its own supply of lithium and industries would be less scared about supply shortages. Here's the other good news. Not only is this an amazing discovery, but we've also discovered much better ways to actually separate the lithium from the mined product. So take away all the bad impurities or the mud and all the clay and all the other stuff and get the lithium out of it. In other words, to extract the lithium, it used to be quite an expensive process, but recently new chemicals and new processes have evolved so that this is now much quicker and much, much cheaper. Toyota says there's not enough lithium for EVs. In fact, there's only enough lithium for 10% of the automotive industry to be electric. Well, right now in the month of July, we hit 11%. I believe in the month of August, we hit 12% electric worldwide. So Toyota's calculation figures are clearly nonsensical. There's more than enough lithium. This new discovery though, could bring America the ability to produce its own lithium, not to be dependent upon China or Australia or Chile or anywhere else. This is amazing news for the American automotive industry, for batteries, for energy storage, and really for preventing a lithium shortage, which could definitely one day be a big problem. This is a game changer. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for watching.